proud of what we're able to do there and the connections that we've made with people. I mean, you know, most little boys when they grow up, they dream of being like a race car driver, or an astronaut, or a fireman. But I always wanted to really do something where I could help people. I don't know why. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how it was going to happen. Again, looking back, I think it's part of all of the plan of God's life and, you know, why I was infected and how I can turn that infection into advocacy to help others. So, in 2013, um, an amazing piece of my life came together. I was able to get the funding together to start a brand new nonprofit, which I mentioned earlier when I introduced myself. It's called Different Roads Home. We're in Huntersville, North Carolina. One of my employees, um, Will Ward, is with us today. Um, and uh, some of you in the field may also know Kareem Strong. He is working for me as my director of programming. So we've got a great team there. Um, we're also not going to just focus on HIV, although that is a lot of our priority. Um, the whole idea of this mission came out of, again, my friend Janet Pascal had written a book called The Good Road. And, I have to read this so I don't screw it up, but I was reading this passage when I was filling out all the paperwork for the nonprofit, and it says, we all take different roads home, each of us heading for the same destination, but we face our own variety of twists and turns in narrow places, as well as a few stretches that are all downhill. You and I encountered differing relationships and challenges, only to realize that somewhere along the road, we come to the same impasse. Isn't that so true? I mean, whether you're an individual suffering from HIV, cancer, any other chronic illness, or anything, we all come to that impasse of the human condition where we need the same things. Whether it's somebody to listen to you, somebody to mentor you and lift you up, a support group, somebody to point you in the right direction where you can get your medicine, where you can get some food referrals. That's that commonality of the human condition, and that's what we're trying to accomplish with this. In closing, I want to thank you for listening to me ramble on about my story. Um, I hope that you found some similarities. Maybe you can draw some parallels in your life. And what I look to all of you to do today is to educate yourselves, especially, especially about your medical care and your medications. Find yourself a true medical home that values you as a patient and not just a number. Look to organizations like Walgreens that are going to be able to help you with your medicine. And they're going to help lift you up and stay more compliant so that you can stay healthy and you can take that torch and you can help others. Together, as educated and informed consumers, we are stronger than HIV. And we can beat this thing.